So, I'm Liam. I know I am not here very often, but I'm just really, really sick. <laughs> Uh, so my topic is not quite as heavy as the previous topics, and it's about how the car industry is a ripoff. How as soon as you buy a car, so for me, I just bought a brand new car. As soon as you buy a car, you drive it off the lot, it loses its value. Anytime you get in your car, you turn it on, you drive it to the corner store, it loses value. And that comes down to how much car manufacturers make, and how when you go to a dealership and you say, well, I want you to come down $1,000 less. $1,000 to them is nothing. Companies like Range Rover make almost 300 to 400%, 350% to 400% on every car profit, which is just insane. And it's because they're mass produced and they're not very well made. You know, companies like Toyota, Honda, everything, just mass produced cars for super, super cheap and then sell them to you guys for $20,000, $30,000. And that gets into the topic of like luxury cars, of how when you buy like a Ferrari, let's say, it's supposed to be handcrafted and really nicely made. Well, Ferrari hasn't handcrafted Ferraris in years, except for the Enzo, but uh, they say they do. It's because they put on the last finishing details uh, that of their cars by hand. So that's, that's where they get the handcrafted name. And so they still make like 200% per Ferrari of profit. And that's not very hard when you're selling a car for $250,000. <laughs> um, but then companies, there's, there's one company who makes little to no money on every single car they sell. And that's the car, car company who sells one of the most expensive cars in the world, which is a Bugatti. And so Bugattis are so lowly produced, uh, their average is $1.7 million just for the car, which is insane. <laughs> um, uh, just to make the car, it costs them $1.5 million. And that's, that's the lowest profit that they could possibly take without having to shut their doors because they have to employ people to build their cars. Because every They only make a small run of cars, like 100 cars per push of cars. And uh, it just makes it so they're so expensive to build. And so when you go to a car company, you normally don't just slap 20 grand on the table and say, give me the fastest one. You have to finance a car, and you have to go through, oh, what do you do for work? What's your pre-gear credit history? And, and so when I did it, they asked, like, what do I do for work? <coughs> and it's kind of difficult when you're a student. I am in the Army, but it's like, that doesn't make me enough money. <laughs> so you have to get a co-signer, and then the co-signer's not enough, and they give you insane interest rates. And then everyone just makes money off of the car industry, except for who buys the cars. And obviously, every once in a while, there's those gems of cars that you buy in 20 years they increase value by 400 percent but there's there's odd examples of that and that's normally off of like the extreme collectors so that's that's my speech on how cars are ripoffs <laughs>